This is Jim Cacciatore coming to you from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, where we are in the midst of another storm. I think we've gone through the American alphabet, through the Greek alphabet, and we're now into signs of the zodiac. This is Tropical Storm Sagittarius, and we're here to invite you to the aid conference with Catholic Charities USA. Wait, 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 David, David. This, this is not going to work. This isn't going to work? No, this is not going to work. No. Okay. Let's go inside. Okay, we'll go inside. Okay, David. So, you know, Kim and Zach, they really want us to sell people on coming to Aid next year in Baton Rouge, you know, and, and it's, it's likely that it should be here because Louisiana was made famous by the Randy Newman song, right? The song about short people got no. Not that one. No, no, no. You know, it's the the song about Louisiana, the Great Flood of 1927. Trying to wash us away. Right. Uh -huh. It brings a tear to my eye. Yeah, I know. So you know, Louisiana's been hit by a lot of disasters, right? Yeah. Um, you know, since in my lifetime, there's been Betsy, Camille, and then more recently Gustav, Ike, Katrina, Rita. You know, up and through the 2016 floods and now 2020. 2020, it kind of sums it all up, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we've got so much disaster experience around here. Hurricanes every other week this year. Why wouldn't people want to come here? You know, I always say that we respond? were chosen geographically to be the experts in disaster. So, you know, but that's all fine and dandy, but Baton Rouge really does have a lot to offer. Yeah, we've got the LSU Tigers, national champions, a great stadium there, you know, and the LSU football team is so important to the state. They even have a seat at the Operations Center for the Governor's Office of Homeland Security and Emergency Preparedness. You know, that'd be a great field trip for the group to go see the Overwatch there, and I bet we could even get into the city parish, um, the Office of Homeland we, Security We could there. ask the Governor. The Governor's a good Catholic boy. We could ask him to welcome the, everybody oh, from great. around the country. That would be great. That would be great. So, you know, but the hotel, it's an historic property, and that's that's really going to be a selling point. It's, yeah, although I wouldn't want to stay there. You know, it's haunted by the ghost of Huey Long. I mean, it, it, it used to be called the Governor's Hotel, you know. Right. And, um, but, yeah, so it's right down the street from the state capitol where Huey Long was assassinated. Oh, I understand you can point. even still go there and see the bullet hole. In the wall, not the bullet hole in Huey Long, actually. But you know, we could reenact his assassination. <laughs> That'd be a field trip, too, right? <laughs> right. So, you know, I was just thinking about that. The hotel rooms are really, really beautiful and comfortable. They've got a, a swimming pool. It'll be kind of chilly for that time of year. But the conference center is really top-notch. And it's in downtown Baton Rouge where there's lots and lots of great restaurants. They've got a couple of brew pubs um, and even some, some live music Louisiana, most every night. Louisiana, really? I bet there's some, <laughs> some karaoke too. I bet there's some karaoke. Okay. But okay. the hotel overlooks the Mississippi and they've got great sunsets. They do have great sunsets over the water that. there, yeah. And there's that new water institute right down the street from mm -hmm. there. You know, there, there's a, um, I understand that there is a football size. Uh, mock-up of the Mississippi River, mm -hmm. football field size mock-up mm -hmm. of the Mississippi River Delta that kind of mm -hmm. shows the effect of climate change and right. how hurricanes are more impactful now because the marsh is disappearing, Louisiana the coastline is going away, and so mm -hmm. those storms coming off the Gulf. And pretty much, you know, pretty I think by within a few years, Baton Rouge is going to be landfall site for hurricanes. Well, that'd be a great field trip too because it's just right around the corner from there. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the airport is only 10 minutes away, and it's really convenient. Most major airlines fly in there. So, you know, there's really no reason not to come to Baton Rouge. But how, how are we going to close this video, David? Gonna close this out? Probably with a heartfelt appeal for like people what? to come. So, you know, like, like well, you know, guys, Catholic Charities got its starts in South Louisiana from the Ursuline nuns. Years later, here we are, uh, still continuing our mission. And, you know, in today's world, Catholic Charities Network all around the country is dependent on by its local communities to respond to disasters and emergencies, whether or not those are hurricanes, tornadoes, ice storms, or the wildfires that are just uh, really devastating the West right now. So this is a chance to come and spend some time with your colleagues and learn about the ABCs of disaster response, the technical details that will help you engage in more meaningful discussion with state and local officials so that you can put your mission to work in helping people at a time of desperate need when frequently no one else is around other than Catholic Charities agencies. So y'all come on down, please.